or standard Remington 700 short action and drop it into our Sabre Force T modular rifle stock chassis system, our RSAA3, which is for the short action here today. Um, start by making sure that the Remington 700 bolt is pulled out of your barreled action, making sure that the chamber is clear and there's no ammunition loaded. Then go ahead and remove your scope, which I've already pre-loosened this one here. Set that off to the side, then you can unlock your gun vise here, take your barreled action, flip it over onto the top, and you can go ahead and remove your two action screws with a Allen wrench or a torque wrench, whichever model you have. Carefully remove the stock from the barreled action, which will have the bottom metal on it. Now that you have your factory Remington 700 barreled action disassembled out of the factory stock, you can now start to disassemble the Sabre chassis. Go ahead and stick it in the gun vise upside down to make sure it's being held by the rear of the stock. Take your 3 16 Allen key, start by removing the bottom cap of the grip. Set that off in your little tray here. Inside there is a Allen key. Go ahead and loosen that up until you can freely move the grip angle back so you can access the rear action screw. Next, go ahead and remove the two 3 16 Allen screws that are holding the forend on to the center section. Set those down in your tray. And go ahead and remove the forend from the center section. And now you can readjust your vise, turn it back over, and now you have a clean working surface to work from. Now that you have your Remington short action, barreled action disassembled from the factory stock, you can now take the Sabre Force T and start installing it onto your barreled action assembly. Start by taking the center chassis section attached to the shoulder stock and gently placing it on top of your barrel action receiver, which is mounted upside down in the rifle cradle. Just give it a quick check to make sure that your screw holes line up. Take the short screw, goes in the rear of the action. The long screw, quarter 28 by one and a half, goes in the front. Take your 3 16 Allen and just snug those down, nothing tight. Just keep it from moving away on you. All right. Now that you have that done, you can go ahead and raise the barrel up and slide the carbon fiber foreign carefully over the barrel to action. Insert it into the bent out lug. Now you can take the two quarter 28 transition piece screws and install these back in their holes. Just snug those down, insert the second screw, Now that you have your action screws and transition piece screws hand tight, you'll want to go ahead and take your 3 16 T-handle Allen, starting at the rear action screw, and remove them one by one so you can apply a small dab of Loctite to each screw before final torquing. And we recommend using Loctite Blue 42, Blue 242, excuse me, just a dab on there will do it. 
insert it back into the hole and once again hand tight is just fine. Moving to the front action screw, apply a small bit of Loctite to it, insert it back in, just hand tight, remove the transition screws one at a time, apply a dab of Loctite to them, Put those back in hand tight. It's fine for right now. You're going to come back with a torque wrench and torque all of these to 65 inch pounds. Now you are ready for final torquing. On your torque wrench, if it is adjustable in weights, make sure that it is set to 65 inch pounds like this one is here. Making sure that you also have a 3 16 hex key bit for each of the screws that you're going to be torquing. Starting at the rearmost action screw, moving to the front action screw, and then each of the transition piece screws get torqued as well. you have your action screws and your transition piece screws tight, you are now ready to attach all your different shooting accessories such as the long range accuracy bipod. But start by removing it out of the rifle cradle, place it on your knee, you can attach your bipod system back on. down. You can attach your day optic back onto your rifle as well, which will also need to be torqued back properly. And then you have your other accessories like an AMPVS 26 night vision device, which can also be attached to the top 12 o'clock rail in front of your day optic. So for you varmint hunters out there that like shooting coyotes at long ranges at night, this is a perfect setup for you. Now that we've taken your Remington 700 short action and converted it into the Mod Zero chassis, I'd like to take the time to show you how to adjust the HTA, the hand tooled adjustable shoulder stock on your Sabre Mod Zero chassis using the Sabre Field Multi-Tool. Now the HTA shoulder stock will fit every shooter out there with four basic ergonomic adjustments starting with the length of pole recoil pad spacers, the T-slot vertical butt pad adjustment, the cheek piece here, and the grip angle adjustment in the front. Start Taking your 3 16 ball head Allen on the Sabre Field Multi-Tool, inserted it in the top hole of the recoil pad and loosen until you can move the recoil pad freely. The second screw being on the bottom will allow you to move the recoil pad to either remove or replace length of pull spacers in the back to achieve the length of pull desired as well as allow you to move the T-slot rail up and down to achieve the right shooter pad or recoil pad height adjustment for the shooter. Once you've done that, tighten these back up, hand tight, starting with the top one and then the bottom. Now you've adjusted the recoil pad height as well as the length of pole, all with two screws here on the back recoil pad. Moving forward, you have the cheek piece adjustment, and which is very easy to adjust with a simple bail wire screw. It has positive locking notches that will allow it to go all the way down and lock into place. 
as well as anywhere in the middle and it will allow you to lock it securely in place with no movement. Now I'd like to show you how to adjust the grip to trigger distance as well as the grip angle for your primary grip. Taking the rifle and standing it up, remove the bottom cap out of the grip angle, holding the chassis center section with your left hand, take your saber tool with the ball 3 16 Allen, insert it into the bottom of the grip angle. You can loosen this up so it will move forward and aft and you can check it with your primary grip and move it until you have the correct trigger pad placement up or back depending on the size of your hand. Once you get it into that spot you can go ahead and lock it into place by simply tightening the allen screw inside the grip. How to configure your Mod Zero Quattro carbon fiber forend here. On the top you can have it bare with no accessory rails on top or you can add a four inch in this position here in the forward or you can bring it closer back to the optic for you guys that like to varmint hunt or want to attach a light or night vision or law enforcement that have the need to attach other accessories to the forend on top in front of your day optic. And that's it. That simple. It'll plug on and you're ready to head off to the range.